Hey guys, so today's recipe is my daddy's famous fishka salad. It was quite difficult to make this look appetizing. So for this recipe, you'll need some good quality white fish. I like to use these M&S cod loins, otherwise whatever's available where you live. You'll also need two onions, some green chilies, some garlic, and you'll need some natural yogurt. Please do ensure that this is natural as opposed to Greek or anything else. For spices, you'll need salt, some red chilli flakes, black peppercorns, cloves, black cardamom. Also, you'll need some chilli powder and some haldi powder. And to cook, we will use the siki. Next step, onion prep. You can either really, really finely chop your onions, or if you've got a food processor to hand, it's much, much, much easier just to grind these. Um, the, the more sort of thin you can get your onions, the better. This julep um, grinder is really, really good, by the way. As you can see, the onions should be around this consistency. Next step is getting our desi ki really, really hot. If you don't have desi ki or you prefer not to use it in your cooking, you can use any other um, cooking oil. Desi ki does give it a I would say quite a distinct taste so if you do like it or have it available I would try it. Add in your onions once the oil is nice and hot. Our aim is to get these onions very very dark as you'll see later on in the video. As your onions are frying you can prepare your garlic. I'm peeling around 8 garlic cloves here and I'm going to press these into the onion mixture with a garlic press. You can also use the food press processor like the one you use for the onions. Otherwise if you have no fresh garlic you can substitute this for about a tablespoon of garlic paste. I'm also just slicing my two green chilies at this point. As you can see now the onions have changed in colour and are nicely a bit darker than golden brown. At this point you can add in all your moti mochi. So I'm adding in my two black cardamoms, about four or five black cloves as well as around 10 or 11 black peppercorns. I'm going to give this a good mix and fry for about two minutes. Next, you can press in your garlic cloves. Um, we're gonna let these also fry for about two minutes. Well, you can see now that my onions are getting very dark, so I'm adding a little bit of water to ensure my onions don't burn. Next, adding into there one and a half teaspoons of chili powder, one teaspoon of haldi powder, half a teaspoon of red chili flakes, and one and a quarter teaspoons of salt. After two minutes, once your masala have completely binded in, you can add in your beaten yogurt. Once the yogurt is in, we need to give our salad full attention. We're going to stir constantly for a good 15 minutes. I'm also adding in the green chilies. As you can see, I'm stirring this in very small circles and you're going to have to keep on stirring until the mixture looks something like this and you can literally see a layer of oil at the top. Once it looks like this, your sauce is done and you can keep this aside. Next, we're going to prepare our fish. I'm just cutting this into sort of big pieces as you can see. I like to make it sort of bigger just so if the fish does break, which it basically will, like it's inevitable that it's going to break, um, it doesn't break into very small pieces. So we're going to heat about two or three glugs of olive oil and we're going to fry our fish for one or two minutes on each side. I add the fish in like a clockwise circle just so I know which one I need to turn first and um, which one is sort of going to be cooked first because fish is very delicate and you need to sort of make sure you're taking care of it. As you can see it's browned on one side. Once it's browned on the other side as well, you can add it directly into your um, curry sauce salad masala thing, um, as you can see here. And then you can prepare the next batch of fish and do exactly the same. As you can see, it is breaking, but you don't worry at all. Just keep adding it in as best as you can. Um, the next, once you've added all your fish in, give it literally one stir and put it on low and put the lid on. The fish will release its own waters and that will create even more shorba for the salon. After about 15 minutes of simmering, your food is ready. As you can see, there's a bit of oil at the top. The consistency should, should be sort of masala -y, but it should be a bit thicker than how you left it um, because the waters of the fish will release and this really adds to the taste. Some of the fish has broken down, but there is some big bits there as well, as you can see. This can be served either with rice or with um, just pure roti. It tastes good with both. Personally, I like to have it with some Greek yogurt, as you can see here. Um, it's really good with both rice and fish.